Hello Cobrats and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I am Shrikelight Tamer. Last time we got a nice little start on Olimar's assignment, this time we're going to continue it. This time with a little bit of a different recording setup instead of Elgato Game Capture which seems to be a little bit laggy in terms of visuals and audios. We're just going to be doing OBS Studio, hopefully not be as bad. I did that for the little mid-video spoilerific-ish thing for the previous episode. Had to do some audio adjustment otherwise, but anyway. Day 3, River, Collect Fruits! There's treasure to be had on land and water, and I want it all. I want it all. And don't forget to bother about the not wanting to wait around for lily pads. What? <laughs> the water's not flowing. Find another way. So, off to the Twilight River for Olimar and Louis, but just with a little bit of blockage in different ways of doing things. Olimar's expedition log. River survey. More secret file like stuff. This is Olimar, captain of the SS Dolphin. I am quite confident about myself, and I've been to this planet twice before already. I never tire of hunting for treasure here. I've traveled far and wide across this planet during my several trips here. Don't mind the toady boister in the background, but I'm only now noticing that several of my notes and log entries have gone missing. It must be a memory leak with my file management routines. I think I heard someone in IT talking about that once. Once I'm back on Hokitate, I'll try to convince the president we need an upgrade. I hear a little bit of buzzing, and Luigi Louie be buzzing about. That was almost a Frolimardian slip. Maybe I can get an upgrade to my partner while I'm at it. Bahaha, ha Very funny. With your M&Ms on your jacket there. Like cookies and cream or something. Getting knocked about. Day 3, River. Gold medal makes you a general. And platinum makes you royalty. Ha ha. Gather that fruit in the water too. Let's do this stuff. Thank you for the reminders, Mr. Sucho, President. So, Louis, which ones do you want to go for? Oh, crap. I forgot I had to get it off of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's play solo. Yeah, it's just a way to get the achievement without really thinking about it. Okay, let's do this. One player, kaboom. There we go. I was like, why are we doing this? We're just gonna go over here. Is there any plucking to be done? I'm just gonna have Olimar do a little bit of automation. Uh, might be an enemy there, but I'm just gonna not be too concernable about it. Hopefully there will be plenty of stuff around. Oh no, it's a big old bad. I can't deal with the big old dog old baggles. What? <laughs> We're just gonna do this. Yeah, now we're gonna focus on building around too much because we got our time limit. We wanna be as efficient as possible about it. We're gonna do that singular dude right there, and then another Kashmacular dude right there. Then I guess I'll build one, two, three yellows right there, but not much else otherwise. While well, five get to work on this over here. Yeah, I could even like cross over and get some stuff if I really want to. I'm gonna have uh, Louis do some automation that way. Then we're gonna go, hmm, well for one, I would like to take my blues with me just so I can get this fruit. Get your plucking going on, hopefully. Because we do need ten on this grapefruit looking thing. Some could be, some could not be. Do I even need to grow more reds? No, because I tossed them over yonder. Alright, well there's Louis stuff over there. And while the other stuff is happening, we're getting y'all through, uh-huh. We're gonna call off a few blues. Just gonna do like that. Then we're gonna get you guys going very spectiously, yeah, spectiously. Um looks like a secret way right now, it's just the way to the Treasure Flonker. We like the Treasure Flonker. And the music for some reason reminds me of uh, the stuff in Luigi's Mansion 3, the boiler works. Alright, yeah. Now we've got a Nectar Sandalfly, so we better get our yellows working and be prepared for all that. In fact, uh, Louis, I'm just gonna have you go through the water over there while everybody else is building and digging around here. Get your pluckerisms going on. Your puckering blinos. I see one over there. Yeah, very, uh, Strategically inconvenienticated. I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing words. Uh, make sure everybody's with me. I could do things. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the lily pad movement. Make sure everybody's all accounted for. Then I'm just gonna have you automate in a strange little way. Yeah, I guess because I haven't stepped on those two little steps over there. Can't quite deal with it. All right, I'm gonna keep a couple around. Just so I can uh, take down the Nectar Standalfly because we don't see any wing Pikmin to inconvenience the fire cells. Might not even have to build anymore. Actually, if memory serves, it might be more orange bulb orbs. I mean, yeah, it's kind of to be expected at the Twilight River. All right, we're about to build everybody together. It's like an ultimate goal of the day to get this bridge built together. Don't worry about it. Eh. Data files, you got your blues and everything though. All right, here we go. We got our friend coming right to the center of the plate. Here we go. Uh, I think there are some candy pop buds, possibly for some building about. <laughs> we're just gonna like walk everybody around. Then we're going to swarm you all into that. Make sure everybody gets a nice little drink up. Got to charge it all about. Alright, I think we're all good on those regards. Uh, 
Let's do three there. Yeah, still more dudes that I need to get accounted for. In fact, we're just gonna do, how about five there? Then Louie, gonna potentially take some dudes. Doodly Louidles. All right, let's gonna toss a few, see if they'll go over to the Puckering Blino. I don't know. Looks like it could be a problem. Uh, no, it's not really being problematic. Let's just, uh, I don't even know if I want to build any more Pikmin. I just want to get these things out of the way. Yep, no deaths right now. I think, yeah, it's just ticking up more than anything. A nice little tick up. Uh, Louis got your dudes. Yeah, he's got your dudes, my dudes, all of our dudes. Uh, just let those guys continue to automate like so, while Olimar and Louis are working about. Yeah, yeah, a lot of flowery dudes, so very nice and speedy. Pretty sure everybody's flowered. But instead, right here we got more. Help me out, Louis. We got even more flowering to do, if we really want to. Because we really need to do all this flowering. See? It's like all these things that I could be faster about. Just be like ultra splacunculating. Yeah, splacunculating is quite the word to come up with. Alright. Let's see if we can get some blues down there. Because we got all this. In fact, they might just uh, go to the water in any sort of special way. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> just get one carrying. Uh, get you guys out of there. No, we got one over there. Just toss all the blues we can to get them working. Did any death happen yet? No. Not that I can see. Uh, here. Here's an idea. Toss a few blues while people are doing stuff. The people in the Pikmin. I can't believe it that they're doing it. Uh, is there a Puckering Blino? There's a Toady Boyster, but I think we're just gonna stick dudes around there. Yeah, I think I might just be picking picking up the stuff from the grapes over there. The Dawn Pustules at that. Hello there, I'm gonna sneak up from behind. Just focus on yellows at first. That electricity is incredible! Incredibly deadly, haha. <laughs> Not even gonna carry bodies. In fact, I might actually urge you to do such a thing. I don't know. Might be a little bit of confusion to that. Uh, oh man, holy leafy dudes. I'm pretty sure they were all flower using up as possible as well. Just gonna do all that. Get us all the carrying I can. Don't really need to carry about much else. Carry about. Uh, that is almost everything as well, because I think that is all the fruits. Man, <laughs> I could even try to do a little something faster. Here, how about blues go over there? Maybe even some more. Some more s'mores. Uh oh, I don't really want to have mingling numbers, though. I hope it's only blue over there. Yeah, like the other ones are, like, not really bothering. Then you go and start going to go over there and, like, charge you again, even non-locking onically. All right, Louie, what you doing? Already took care of stuff. Oh, man, there's stuff be taken down. It's like we're going to lose rank, even though it's just a simple completion that gets you to platinum stuff. Yeah, you can help out right there, if it's going to be any help at all. There's a dude chilling. Uh, starfruit things are getting... All through. There's stuff at the base. Yeah, I just need to automate you a few feet. Alright, yellow poopers. Yeah, we like yellow poopers. Some other dudes over there. I'll bring you guys over there. Doesn't really matter because we are just about done with just about everything if you ask me. Alright, let's gotta speed things up here. In fact, uh, hmm, that's strange. Actually, like, is there more to this? Might actually be more objectives about bodies as well, but Let's just see if that counts anything. Yeah, it doesn't really add to your money, but all this right here is obviously good. In fact, uh, there might be a little bit of nectar somewhere that I'm forgetting about. It's like over there. Something. Uh, I'll find it when I need to. Is there death happening? I don't know. But, yeah, we're just barely out of the way. And, oh yeah, must be over there. An enemy to kill probably drops their fruit. Of course, I got no blues on hand. Except that one. I see it. I see that blue. And now it's all within my reach. And this one right here. Oh yeah, the Toady Voicer. No wonder something's so important. See, here's ways I can do it faster. Here's how we can still win. Let's do it. I right, just focus on you have all the more contribute to the punching as well. I'll let Pikmin too. We're not even worried about the danger of it all. Yeah, gonna get all this contribution going on. <laughs> not even getting affected by the poison. We're gonna do this thing. Come on, try to get it before 3:45 has been reached. Unless they're gonna get tossed off. They could go faster. <laughs> it's like almost all the more is contributing a bit more if you were to ask me. But nope. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course, I do gotta get more blues up here anyway. Just carry this thing. In fact, only three more for that facey scrunchy duncher. <laughs> all that time it took, I could have just brought Louis over. So let's do this thing. Okay, we're doing it. No cutting to be happened. Is that a weed? I'm calling the weed lease. The weed lease, I don't know. Oh, sweet relief on the weed. Yeah, I might just do a sous vide trimming out editing just to do this a little bit faster. Just to show that I can do better on time, but you get the general idea. Not really mu much of muffin crazy, yeah. Not much of splumfin crazy. Weird ways of saying words, man. <laughs> It's just so weird with carrying, it's like, it almost works better in other games. See? All the tossing and still couldn't get 10 onto place. And yeah, not gonna be able to do all the plucking. 
keep all the audio synchronized as well. We're coming up at 10.58, 59, 11. Of course, I'm going to be cutting out a little bit, so it's not really going to be synchronizing that much. But yeah, watch all of our stuff splunk on up. Get your 870, get your 100% complete, get your time bonus. What's it going to kick up to? 62.10, not a bad score thus far. New stage available. Which cannot describe how I'm feeling, your highness. We set this by the metal and it's not written by yours truly. I'm just going to give this a nice little retry. Now I'm going to check my top five until I get more scores to add to the flumperness. So I will see you in a moment. Oh yeah, whistle them from over so you can get this a little bit earlier on in the game. So look like that. Oh, we got a little bit of poisonness, but that's fine. I could just whistle it all off and away. Just do some willy-nilly tossage. Kaboom! With your 870 there, that's obviously like the fixed score based on all the fruits that are available to be gotten. Only fruits, no nectar stuff. I mean, nectar from the naturalist stand of of course. Can I just zoom through all this? I mean, a little bit to an extent, but not really. Get your 870, get your a little bit better. Let's see if we can break 7,000 with this one. Ooh! Very much so, 10,890. Where's cannot describe the amazingness? Now let's look at our rankings on this one. With your global ranking data. More like global stanking data, haha. Ha. Day three river, oh yeah, way past the stuff. I definitely uh, broke through everything. 15,000 high score, man, must be a crazy thing to break. And probably a so weird uh, little limit. Probably can't really do much better depending on how much time you get towards it. But yeah, let's check our top five. Obviously my two most recent scores right there. My bleh scores. All right, next thing. It's actually gonna be the last thing because this is a short assignment. With Louis' help, we collected a pretty good treasure haul so far. I just wish he'd stop eating every fruit he sees. We have to work hard on finding some very, truly valuable treasures. The sooner we hit our quota, the sooner I can get back to my wife and kids on Hokate. Just like that is the case. It's time to save and get moving on to the next thing. A two-porter. I could have done this in like one large episode, but nah. Day four. Tundra. Collect fruits and nuggets. This place is too big to find all the treasure alone, so split up. That's in order. And watch your steps so Pikmin don't fall into any gaps. Those assets are too valuable to lose. Oh, so the Pikmin are only assets to you. Oh, I see how it goes, yeah. Maybe you can, like, check your badges and stuff. Oh, yeah, also check the co-pad. Get an idea. A little bit of Tundra stuff. Not stuff we haven't really seen before, yeah. Things that seem empty are places that aren't really reachable anyway, so we're kind of focusing on the main little area. Remember, for nectar and enemy spots and locations and plenty of blues. The basic Pikmin 1 colors, yeah. Haven't really been dealing with any others, so anyway... All of my assignment day four, let's do this stuff, yeah. It's a weird four day thing, but that's how it's gonna be. All of Mars expedition log, Tundra survey. Let's do it. This is Olimar, captain of the SS Dolphin. I probably could have done day two a little bit better off screen or something. I've been to this planet twice before already. I never tire of hunting for treasure here. More like 84,000 times. Unfortunately, even my advanced suit can't quite keep out the cold. Yeah, he didn't get a frosty suit Z. I'm not surprised Hokutate Freight cut costs when it came to insulation. Urgh. It wouldn't surprise me if everyone got the same standard issue suit, no matter what kind of assignment they were on. The company's new venture went down in flames, and it's dragged our yearly earnings down with it. We don't have the money for decent spacesuits now. This one isn't even custom fitted. Oh no, get them isoelectric types like Arctozole and everything. So, oh no, Pikmin are being eaten, even yellows. Come on, Louie. Ugh, <sighs> big sigh. Without any insulation, I wouldn't want to put the suit up against any nasty shots either. I really should have hung on to that anti-electrifier instead of burying it away. I've got to post a lot of stuff because Olimar is a fast talker, even more so than me, myself, and I. Yeah, we already know a silver medal makes you a captain. Be sure to collect all and get some fruit. That includes others that the wild creatures may be hiding, so yeah, gotta remember to defeat enemies as well. Alright, now we're gonna do some elsewise tossing. We're just gonna have those guys focus over there, and... Hmm, can I do a go here? I mean, yeah, not while I'm, uh actively doing stuff. But yeah, Olimar, you're gonna go through that little tunnel. While Louis, you're gonna get started doing something. Something of sorts. Not gonna worry about that. You're so cool. Oh, don't be a babby, Louis. Babish. Come on, you can do it. No, don't focus on that. That's not like the real weak point of it all, even though it's all weak enough of a point. Pretty sure it's not even quite that case in uh, Pikmin 2. Come on now. I wanna focus on its tail. It's Barbary Biboshkali tail. See if we can get some, uh, ultra spicy nectar spray, you know. Uh, hello? Somebody gonna die out there? No. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna break him apart a little bit. Just so I can, uh, get a little bit of fastness. Actually, no. I'm not even gonna do that. We're gonna go for the face cruncher. Like, there. See? All these things I could be faster about, but I don't know if I'll even replay this day. Uh, 
Blue, you're gonna go all the way this way just to reclaim the blues over yonder. Obviously, gotta do all this. Come on now. Gonna get you a charging on into it. Then I've gotta get moving as Zolomar a little bit more. There's probably a water jump over there. If stuff is to be remembered. Alright, not a very harmful fiery blue hog, but obviously I would like to take it down for any other individuals that might come over this way. For whatever comes our way. Looking for adventure. Na, 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 na. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be funny if that gave me the achievement. Oh, bare knuckled. Oh, I guess it is so. You just have to do the finishing touch as a captain. Okay. I thought it had to be like completely. I don't know. It would be kind of weird to keep track of. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, a weird little thing. Uh, nothing really threatening along the way. Uh, those guys could almost be done. I could have all of our just work over here. If dudes die, then they die. Man, very uh, insensitive. I am about it. Uh, here's some drowning. Must be a, uh, that other enemy or maybe something on fire. I'm gonna be oh yeah, well I mean there's all that, but something. <laughs> They're either drowning or on fire somewhere, so I uh, gotta be watchful of that. Oh, <laughs> there's all that death going on. Uh, yeah, bare knuckle deathification. So which one is it? Is it the, okay, looks like the death happened over there, so it must have been the uh, bearded amp rat, possibly? I don't know based on where I saw the ghosty dudes coming from. They're still being eaten. Something going on. Oh yeah, this uh, blue hog there. I'll say either on fire or watery. That is a fiery blue hog. All right, let me get this a restart just so I can get a better head start on this. Maybe be a bit faster. Papa Booey. Papa Booey. Okay, got a decent start of things. Obviously, this here yeah, strawberry looking thing would be quite ideal to go for. Um, that water dump hole here, I can like just lure it away. I don't even know if it's going to be carrying fruits. It might actually be the case. Let's uh, be watchful of that. Don't want eating to happen too much. Uh, yeah. This guy is not even really that threatening as long as you can get a decent hold on it. I could let them meet up together or I can have uh, somebody go for there. Obviously going to need a yellow Pikmin a bit more conveniently for it. Let's see. How else do I want to handle? There's all this going on. But I can just get like a couple going there. Just to have some going around. Uh, Louis going all for that. Yeah. It's like, why is that being that way that it is? All right, I think I see a perfect setup to go for. Go for the puckering blino. It's always that thing. All right, uh, for some reason, Pikmin just get like tossed around. You know, I know the reason because puckering blinos be blinorific and turbo tastic. It's gonna have you guys do a two-way through there, and let's see any others. There's like one just chilling over there, but I might have them just convene. Is that bridge done? No, still. Zoltified. I'm just gonna have a. Oh, yeah. Is it more dudes to pluck? Oh, it's because it went back into place. That's why. It's like nothing more to pluck. Let's see. I can still go through the tunnel. Yeah. Have them focus on this. Something I could have done sooner. Yeah, I'm gonna do a dismissal so I can uh, get some movement going on. Hey, now you have a better path to take. Are you gonna take the better path? I guess not. Or I guess you are now. <laughs> I just feel like a uh, swing swung in a little bit. Sure, let's grow some more Pikmin. Never a bad idea. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a couple dudes are gonna. Go back for that little thing. Don't have to worry about there because they're all blanched off paths. Yeah, the paths of going about it. And Louie, you're going to take the dudes you got because we got a little dude and also a big dude here. Uh, you're going to dig it. Good enough. Uh, you're going to grab it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really need to watch it. Oh yeah, the bearded damper is the thing. So i got to be watchful of it. Got to switch over. Yeah. It's not really able to catch up with much of anything, so not really too concerned. But these guys, oh yeah. Uh... I feel like I could grow reds a little bit. Not just really sticking out too much. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you all back. And yeah, everybody's bunched together. There's still a little strawberry thing. In fact, I might uh, take yellows for that. Be an interesting thing to do. I don't know. I'll see about it. And for one, let's just do a lot of plucking. Let's see. Uh, yellows, I guess you can do that. Oh yeah, those guys are also a ting. And there is a fruit up there, so. Yeah, don't wanna get way too ahead of myself on everything. Alright, get all this plucking going on. Just let it happen. Let it come. Uh, some movement going on. Huh. Might as well take this enemy down, this bearded Amprat. <laughs> Not quite the ideal setup, but it's a big enough swarm to kablam it down. Alright. Would also like to have a spray. I think I know a place where a spray can be gotten, but it's not quite so necessary. I don't think the bounce rooms are up there anyway. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, here's where we can get some nectar for one thing. Yeah. Kablansk get down. Get it all kablanskinated. It's fine, you can go as you wish. Oh, hey, here's this. That's how you get all your stuff going. So you can at least uh, get the citrus lump here moving a little faster. Did everybody get good? I guess so. I'll just do five on there. In fact, I could probably switch over to blues, but eh. 
Got these couple desiccated skittles. No death, please. Haha. <laughs> Just have you guys go as you wish. Uh, gotta be a little, little bit careful over there because of things that can be bad. But. I'm just carefully not get hot spring aided but oh well. Here, I'm just gonna do this, get you guys down there. Hopefully not trigger anything bad. And Louie, you're gonna get into plucky mode. Go in blanky mode. Yeah, all that is up there. Uh, yeah, I can get a bunch of guys up here, it's no big deal. I'm here, Louie says. Alright, now, I could take you over to the nectar puddle, but I really don't need to. Now you're getting plucky about it. Don't be so plucky-faced and going blanky mode. <laughs> I don't know why I keep on saying that. Uh, I was about to say, I was like, is that automated or something? And here's my friend, so let's get some double pluckage going on. Just trying to pre-strategize for the thing that's coming up. Oh yeah, there's still a citrus slump over thing over there. Yeah, citrus slump over thing over there. Overpowered about it. Alright, yeah. Take all the time you need to get over there. In fact, I can uh, do a spray as needed, but why would I need a spray? I don't know. Here, let's do... Three, four, five. Just gonna have Louis go with that very motley crew. I can just have you automate over here anyway. Just uh, not be problematic with the bearded amp rat while this whole other squad. Squad is going to roll out. Yeah, big squad we got. Just gotta be careful about how we handle it. Because there's other things to do. Alright. Well, there's more nectar eggs, I guess, but not like they're too necessary to get. Alright, uh, I mean, it's still one little leafy dude. There's plenty more I could get as well, but... Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, get it like this. Probably leave Luri up here in case I need to reposition them. And let's be very careful how we handle this. Is the music going strange? I think it is. Any flowery blues? Yes, indeed. Let's go around the corner. Uh, you know, this looks very strangely like an arena, even though we've seen it before. It was only, uh, pyroclasmic sluches. But, I think for now, we're gonna preemptively spray and be prepared for the battle we've got. The battle, if we go more to the center, is a baldy long legs. Oh boy, it's like the final boss of Baltimore's assignment here, and there's already death going on. Because <laughs> I got such a big squad, and it's just stomping to happen. And I'm just gonna let it happen, yeah. It's fine. Oh yeah, all this stomping is so fine. <laughs> it's like the most cause of deaths I've had in this LP. It's like basic stomping. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of bomb death where I usually reset over that, or roll with the punches, depending on how it works. Yeah. Not even gonna bother with their legs or anything, I'm just gonna kinda brute force it. Brute force movable on everything, a little bit of death, but it's semi acceptable. Alright, we're gonna kinda go over that nice and well. Alright, and we're just gonna go Kablamity, because everybody's flowered anyway. Everybody's super zooming. Any more to grab? You know, still another. I can't believe all that stuff to be grabbed. Uh, I would assume death has not happened, and we are nicely covered. Always kinda looks like there was something there, but just a. Uh, Weird little emptiness spot. So yeah, I can remember those uh, spots of nectarization a little bit better. Maybe even uh, do things a little bit more out of order. Maybe even take down the baldy long legs first. Baldy McNose hair. Everybody's doing their own little thing, but we're just about to finish. I don't even feel like it would be too necessary to do a replay. Replay a Pikmin's like a video game in my hand, even though it's my Joy-Cons. Playing video games, oh yeah. And the Kui Final Treasure, 1340. Yeah, maybe I could do it with like six minutes and change remaining, but eh. I think we're good on this. You can see the general gist. I already had to do a reset because of death initially, even though I've lost a bit more. It's just like, I wanted a better start. I had all my death from that point. Alright, 1340. Not bad at all. Then you get your 100% bonus and get all that going. Still past 10,000. 10,000 pokos at that for all the money. Adventure into the unknown, into the unknown. It runs better and better and all of us it. Please get your medal and everything nice and figured out. Let's look at our rankings. That's a nice little thing. Alright, still better than, I guess, the average, even with my deaths. Obviously, deaths aren't exactly the biggest problem. That's still the biggest thing I got right now. But anyway, let's uh, call this a day, a day four, or two days of that. We've retrieved enough shiny fruits and other treasures that we're just about ready to have at Tohoka Tape. Yeah, yeah. There's one reading of a huge golden object that's too big to ignore, so we'll snap that up and then be on our way. Hold on, family. I'll be back before you know it. Yeah, sure, about that big golden object. Kind of tying into the story mode of everything. <laughs> and with that, Olimar's expedition log. Oak survey. Professor Schnoke. Supreme leader, Floke. This is Olimar, captain of the SS Dolphin. Indeed it is. I've been to this planet twice before already, and I never tire of hunting for treasure here. 
Our survey has revealed a massive golden object in this region. Is it Louis' fluffy hair? It'll be worth a fortune to the company. My taciturn partner, Louis, didn't want to come here for reasons he, re for reasons he refused to explain. He's so scared he'd be in frame. Where'd he get to anyway? Well, it doesn't matter. You would have seen him the way you're looking about. Well, let's get this treasure myself, and then it's back to Hokate. What's with all that stomping? I'm sure it's nothing as of what has happened two videos ago. That was the last anyone heard from Captain Olimar. Are you sure about that? Whatever became of Olimar and Louis? Perhaps a crew of intrepid co will find the answer during their adventure. Look back in the previous episodes to figure out how that all works. Oh yeah. Olimar's assignment is officially... Wait for it. Not complete, but the end. I guess this assignment is complete, but the end has been happened as it is. And of course, next time on Pikmin 3 Deluxe, we're going to get right on into Olimar's comeback. The next little bit of stuff right there. You can read that, but I'll read it on my own for the next time as well, and I'll return to the title screen. Until next time on Pikmin 3 Deluxe, where we get started doing the continuation of our two-day-at-a-time thing into Olimar's comeback. It's going to be a little bit longer and everything. A bit more fleshed out and more stuff to deal with. Oh yeah. Do not toast yourself. And remember, keep on plucking. Thank you.